hello hi guys welcome back to the channel i hope everyone are doing great i'm also doing good so in this video i came up with one of the most spark tricky and hard problem was asked in one of the top based product company and if you are able to solve this without any help you'll be eligible to grab the lp offer right so without further delay let's get jump into the problem so the first problem is the exploding group by without using the flatten function if you see this screen this is the data frame that it has and it has the duplicate keys and list of values right we have to convert output as shown in the below screenshot right so the condition here is we should not use the flatten i know with the help of flatten we can able to easily solve this one right but the condition here is we should not use the flatten so now let's jump into the code i just moved to databricks environment this is the free version so i have already entered the input here so the first problem is exploding the group by without using the flatten function let me explain how we can able to solve this one so first we can need to apply the group by of key so that a will get all those things and we can get we can use the collect list function so with the help of collect list function we can able to group all the way a keys into one value and b keys into one value and c into one value after that we can use the flatten function so that all the values if there are any nested structure it will be flattened it out so first i'll show you with the help of flatten function then we can see how we can able to solve without using the flatten function right so first let me write the code so we have to import the function from PySpark, right so now what i'll do i'll just create a data frame data frame one equal to data frame i have already created a data frame above so we can directly make use of it okay so i'm just applying the group by of key right I'm aggregating and I'm applying the collect list and I'm aliasing it as same values. Let me print this display of day one, right? So first you can execute this. Yes, and this is how the data frame it looks like. You can able to see how the input will be, right? So now let's add the dot. Actually, we should use the alias. So now let's go ahead and execute. Each unique key will be created as one key and uh, we have a nested structure, right? So to remove this nested structure, we just add flatten here flatten a function was available you can just add the flatten right so now you can execute you see we just removed and all the values were flattened this, this is the output that we wanted okay so this is how we can able to get with the help of this flatten function but the question is we should not use the flatten function so now we'll see how we can solve this without using the flatten function if you can clearly observe the input it will be an array structure so what i'll do first i'll explode on this array so that each element will be created as one one value so after that i'll apply the group by key and collect list so i can create a data frame 2 and data frame 1 dot with column explode values i can use explode outer function because it has the null values as well right explode outer i can give values let me display how it looks like let's execute this code yeah you see it just converted all the values into scalar values and this is how it looks like now i'll ignore these values and i'll apply the group by key and collect list of exploded values now let's see how i can do that df3 equal to df2 dot group by of key aggregate of collect list explode values yeah, explode values alias as values now i'll display this see this is how it will be let me execute this now we achieved the same output without using the flatten function right so with the help of collect list explode plus collect list were given the required output to us so next problem is fontal nulls so before jumping into the next problem a small reminder you guys i'm expecting only one thing from you that is your support please give a like and add a comment because i'm really keeping a lot of effort to bring this quality and unique content to you hope you understand so the next question is the phantom nulls what is mean by the phantom nulls is if you see we have a sales table and it has a sale id product and the amount and we see some of the nulls in the amount value so now we have to write a sql query to count how many product has more null amount than non-null amount i'm giving you to as a home exercise you can take down and you can write a code and you can add it in the comment section to see whether you are able to solve this or not so the next question is mask the phone number in PySpark with optimal way if you see this one so here we have a data frame with the name and the phone number person name and the phone number so we need to mask this phone number such that only first six digits you need to mark and last four digits should display right so how can you able to solve this in PySpark? and that is with the most optimal way okay 
So first we can see how we can able to solve this problem. Next we can try to optimize this, optimize that. Okay. So first what we can do is how we are going to solve this kind of a problem usually with the help of UDFs. So first we can create some some UDF which can able to do the masking work for us, and we can attach that UDF to the with column function, and we can apply that function to all the rows, and we can get the required output. Let's see how we can able to solve this one, right? So first I'm just importing the function from PySpark SQL that import function all the function I just imported so it's giving some random code I just wanted to take that one so I just wanted to create a method like mask phone number okay and this will take the phone number as an input and I'll check if phone number exists and length of phone uh, greater than are equal to four digits because we need to keep the four digits in the last items right so that's why and we can keep like return return and uh, i wanted to show it as like asterisk so asterisk and into and we can keep it like a uh, number of values that you want it to be so i can keep length of phone minus four right because if you see this one length of phone will be 10 digits usually and 10 minus 4 it will be 6 digits so 6 digits it will be take it as star into uh, 6 so that the same star will repeated 6 times right so and we need to display the phone number last 4 digits right so for that what you can do i can actually append that phone off and to get the value for the last 4 digits we can use something like a 4 minus 4 colon that means it take the since it's a negative value it will take from last to first it will be square brackets okay it's an index actually slicing index so this is how we can able to solve this problem if it is not matching we have to return this phone right so once you can have this one we can create a with column master phone and master phone number of i'm calling the udf here and each row right and each row and i'm marking it as with column function right so next i'm displaying at that one right so let me create this and we'll show how it works so first i'm just creating the input yeah i just created with three records with 10 to number 10 digits as phone number what we can do is we have to register it as udf right so we have to do that one mask phone udf mask phone udf equal to we can create register as udf and for that one mask phone number and we need to define the type of it what type it is so since we are giving the type we have to import that one from pyspark dot sql dot types import star okay it will import everything right next we'll use this pyspark udf here now it's executing right so since it is a udf we need to register the udf with the spark and uh, we have to use this with the column function now you see the output it just masked all the values and showing only the last four digits like how we are showing the account numbers or the credit card numbers or something right so this is how we can able to solve the problem but the question here is remember it's an optimal way everyone knows that spark you i mean python udfs are not efficient right so to solve this one what we can do we can create a udf with the pandas yes we can create the udf in the pandas so why the pandas because pandas actually works in the vectorized model and instead of working row by row it will work batch by batch that's why pandas udfs are much faster than python udf right so what you can do we'll just create pyspark dot sql dot functions i'll import all the functions import start okay and i'm creating the import of pandas as pd okay so how we can create the pandas udf is pandas udf and you can create the definition similar as mask phone pandas phone series pd series and you see phone number so under the apply we have to write an actual logic uh, the logic is we can write the lambda lambda phone colon star into star it will be into length of yeah see it just given the same code length of phone number okay something similar to that but here so right so we need to check if phone and length of phone greater than or equal to four else we just written as four yeah the same logic and definition must 
how we can use this one is so with the masked phone we can give you see that udf it's already came so we just use the same thing okay now let's try this code and we'll see it is executing okay so this is how we can able to solve this problem and we can able to create the udfs with the most optimal way using the pandas right so i hope you like the content you understand the answers and the logics okay so if you if you learn at least one new point please give a like add a comment if you have any doubt or anything as such and please do subscribe for our channel thank you for your supporting we'll meet in the next video